Okay, it's set up. So this is me. I'm going to teach you how we deal with lessons to make it easier. I'm Doc from SamKings.com. And as you can see here, we've already got right over here, as you can see, my MPC is in the screen as well. I'm going to like sort of just show that. I'm going to come to here, actually, and cut off my video. And now I can give you a full lesson just from this angle. You can show me what you want to do. I can explain every procedure. It's easier this way to teach you everything about your MPC, whether it's an MPC X, MPC XSE, MPC Live, Live 2, MPC 1, 1 Plus, MPC Key 67, or MPC Key 37, or even with the Renaissance or the Touch. Doesn't make a difference. We can teach it to you also the studio as well. But it makes it so much easier doing it this way to help you understand how each function works. For example, I can go back to here to menu. I'm in menu right there. You want to know something more about the browser? I go to browser. We're browser right here. It's very easy. As you can see, you can see I'm going here pushing the buttons. I can hit the pads. You can see everything right there. It's a better way to do lessons and make it easier for anyone to learn using your NPC. But it's not just about NPC. Let's go back here. I'm going to go here into this section here. I'll pull my camera up again here. There I am. I'm going to go into share. Now here in share, we can see everything. <laughs> now you can see all this stuff is right here for you. It's easy to use. I'm still using my NPC right here. Hit the pad. So I can hit pads, teach you hitting the pad using the software too as well. I can turn stuff off. I can go to here, open up the other side of the software and teach you this. I can press X, open expansion packs. I can press B, open up the browser. I can press F, teach you how to find files on your computer and load it into your MPC. It's pretty easy to do once you have someone teaching you how to do this. It can get complicated for some people. But really, it's not that hard at all. Now, we just don't teach MPC. We also will teach other software as well. For example, I can probably go to here. And I'll come to here, actually. Go down to here a little bit. There you go. And now we're going to pull up Ableton. This is a popular software. I'll pull up Ableton Live. Now, this is pretty easy to do. I pull that up. I'm going to go back into NPC. Find my device. It's not allowed to do everything else. It's not allowed it to do whatever it needs to do. And I come back to here. I can turn off my NPC too as well. But first, I want to load up my Ableton Live. This shouldn't take too long to load up pretty quickly. Now, what I want to do though, is once it loads up, I'm going to come here to NPC. I'm going to turn NPC off. And don't save. So now NPC is going to cut off on me. As you can see here, standalone, I'll go to standalone. It's cool right there. Standalone's right there for me. Makes it easy. But now, as you can see here, I've got Ableton Live open. Suppose I want to bring an NPC in here. It's pretty simple to do. I want to get an NPC up here, right? So what I'm probably going to do here, in this case, I'm going to open it up right there. See that? I'm going to go here to templates. I got my NPC template right here. I'll click on that, and I want it to open up my MPC software inside of Ableton Live. This can be done in Pro Tools, Logic, FL Studio, Studio One. I can teach you all this stuff, any software you want to, whether you have MPC or machine even works too. So right here now, as you can see what's going on, it's searching for the MPC software, and it wants to load it up here inside of Ableton Live. Now I made a template, which you've probably seen in my videos on how to make a template. You can make all kinds of templates actually. One, you can have a template in the NPC, even a template in here. And what it will do, it'll open up the software. I'll have each output separated to a specific track. And it makes it easier for me to work. Now there it is, it's open already. That's kind of cool. So as we can see here, it's open. And you'll see here, 
I've got these tracks lined up. See? And that's playing pretty fast, right? I may want to go to here and get my tempo, because your tempo from your NPC is not going to work. I'm going to here make my tempo right here. I'm going to go up to this, this try 92. And they're all on separate tracks. Let's close this back end out over here. I can transfer anything from my MPC into Ableton Live. I can make a track up there, come over here, and start using my Ableton Live plugins. And it's pretty cool to do. So it's pretty cool to use stuff, but our lessons are designed specifically to teach you on your MPC. As you can see, once that happened again, my computer opened up. It pulled up, it's gonna be on the MPC right there. See that right there? And so now you can see that. I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna leave the standalone mode for a minute. And you'll see it open back up with that whole idea. The same thing. And, but it gave it the name that's inside of Ableton. So I can have my MPC controller or standalone device work with my controller for Ableton. This is kind of cool. So I go back in here again. I'm going back to share this again. And then that way, I can still see it. And if I press play on this section, let me go back to here and make some enabled in. You'll see here my MPC is moving in time. We're in sync with my controller. Well, actually, my MPC, which is a standalone, but being using controller right now, along with Ableton Live. So if you want to get lessons, I can teach you how to use any one of the software, as you can see on our website, whether it's Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton, Logic, where Ableton, what else do I want to look at? Oh, Studio One. I mean, I have more. You can see right down here, too, as well. I keep all the softwares here. You know, plus I can teach you how to do stuff also with his Pro Tools, but also with, uh, what's this, Adobe? I can come to here also. I have all the software, GarageBand, Reason. Uh, MPC, MPC Beats, also the In Music Software Center, how to hook up your MPC totally. Here we go, Logic. This is the SP404. I do teach that too as well. And I have lessons on that online as well. It was, this is Avid for Pro Tools. This is Studio One. This is Ableton right there. I can teach how to use Melodyne. Using Melodyne is really cool too. Plus Machine. I can pull Machine up in there. For example, I can come to here and I'll say, you know something? I'm using machine, right? So I have a client who uses machine, a bunch of clients who do. And what we'll normally do, I'll come back and make a brand new session. And I say, okay, let's make a new live set. I'm not going to save it. Don't save it. Bam. I'm not saving it. Notice my NPC is like looking for a computer. It's looking for it. No, it ain't there. I'll press standalone. Go back to standalone, please. Yep. That sounds cool with me. Go back to standalone. Boom. And we're going back to standalone on, on the NPC. But now I've got this empty again, right? I'll come to here. I want to use machine. I got keep I keep all these things lined up. Here's machine right here. I click right there. It'll load my machine setup. I can bring the machine software in and just go busy. Get busy and go for it. And that loaded pretty quickly right there. That's kind of cool. And it loads up right here. So it's easy to use anything on a computer once you got a lesson. Pretty simple with all music software. Any question, hit me up at samplekings.com. And all you got to do really to book some time is go right to here. We're in Sample Kings right now. And I'll refresh this page. Now, once it's refreshed here, you'll see here, you can join us, of course, as well. Uh, you can come in, you can book time. And then that's easy to do. You'll see the course is just 16 bucks an hour. We also sell larger packets, like a 10-hour lesson plan for MPC or Native Instrument or for Pro Tools, whatever it is. We can do 10 hours in one day if you want, or we can do two hours a day or one hour a week. It's to make a difference, but you gotta book the time. To book that time, you come down to here, you pick what you're gonna use. I'm gonna use uh, MPC, right? You come to here, you will see it, you pick a day. What day am I gonna pick? I'll pick five o'clock. I get off work about five, six a.m., boom. You wanna get busy. You put your name and ask everything right here, and once it's all done, it'll send it to me and I'll know what's going on. And say, book it. You book it right there. You're good. Once you do, I'll receive a message from Zoom, and we're good to go. Now, Zoom works great with the system, and our system works because whenever you book the time, 
I see it the second you book it. Bing, bing, bing. The phone rings at me with an idea that, hey, it's being booked. It's easy to do. Now, of course, I said before, you can use any software as well, too. Uh, we got Logic up here. And they come up pretty quickly on my computer. But you'll be able to see this yourself as I pull these softwares up and work with you and teach you how that software works or how your MPC Live works or machine or even the SP404 will work with your system, depending on how you set that system up. It's very important to do that. Now, any core I can set me up, of course, I'm at samwickings.com. The phone number is there, of course, here in our system. Where's the phone number at? Let's go back to reloading this. We launch this page right here. And you'll see us right there. These are the rules. You want to book this one hour. Cash app. Venmo. Right? Just 16 bucks an hour. If you want to get down, get busy, and you need help, you call us right here. 718-715-4652. If you call that number, we'll respond. We could probably be in a session, too. We'll call you right back. But if you book your time, I'll also call you as well. But if you've got any questions, just hit us up. Whether you're going to either call us or even text us or send an email. Now, if you want to pay for it and use PayPal, you go here to the store. You click on the store right there. Boom. Here in the store, you can buy the things. You can take one hour, half hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, 10-hour block right here. That's $155 for a 10-hour block of 10 lessons. That's 10 hours. That's an awesome thing to do. Even 20 hours right here. You book your time. Now, if you become a member and join Sample Kings 2, you get hours as well. By joining us, you get hours, you download samples, you get help directly in there. And we've got other videos going on there too as well, like Final Cut Pro. How to use Final Cut Pro. So any questions, hit me up. That should be enough to know today. I'll see you in a few in the next video. We'll be doing 3.0.